continue. Here we are, London, a wonderful capital city. What's that big building? That, Peppa, is Buckingham Palace. It's where the Queen lives. The Queen? I want to meet the Queen. Well, she might be quite busy being the Queen. But I suppose we could always ring the doorbell and see. Good idea, Mummy Pig. Where's the doorbell? Hmm. There it is. Shall we give it a ring? Go over to the doorbell to see if the Queen is at home. Hello. Is that my pizza delivery? Just slide it through the gate and the corgis will pick it up. <laughs> the Queen thinks the pig family are there to deliver a pizza. Um... No, we're the pig family. Mr and Mrs Pig, Papa Pig and George. The pig family? How wonderful. Well, you simply must come inside and say hello. We'd like that very much. Let's go! <laughs> everyone. What a pleasure it is to meet you. You are all most welcome here in my humble palace. Oh, the pleasure is all ours, your royal highness. You have a wonderful home. Thank you, Mr. Pig. It's a wonderful home in a wonderful city. Here, why don't I show you around? Yes, yes! yes! Marvellous. Well, when you're ready, we'll go outside and go on a grand tour of London. to the tour of London, we'll go on my bus. That bus has an upstairs and a downstairs. All aboard, why don't you go upstairs so you can get the best views? Yes, Mum. Are we all ready up there? Yes! yes. Then let's go. First stop on our tour of London, Big Ben. Hurrah! Here we are. We have arrived at Big Ben. I can't see anyone called Ben. <laughs> big Ben is up there. Yes, Big Ben is a big tower. Actually, it's not. Big Ben is the name of the bell that lives inside the tower. Oh, yes. That's what I meant. Big Ben is ringing. Let's answer him by ringing our own bell. Each time Big Ben rings, the Queen can ring back. How about suggesting the Queen rings back? Well done. You did a very good job ringing the bell. Where are we off to next, Your Majesty? We're going to Tower Bridge. This is Tower Bridge. Can we drive over it? Yes, but we need to wait for the ships to pass through first. 
I think that ship's a bit too tall to pass under the bridge. It certainly is. We need to lift up the bridge so that the ship can pass. Can any of you up there help us? Me, me, me! To lift the bridge takes a little while. Keep going until it reaches the top. Huzzah! You lifted the bridge all the way to the top. Now the ship can pass through. Your Majesty, there's another ship on the way. Oh, so there is. Well, we really must be getting on with the tour, I'm afraid. We can't sit around waiting for ships all day. We're stuck! Hmm, we are stuck. I know. Everyone, move to the front of the bus. Move towards the front of the bus to help it onto the other side of the bridge. We did it. Do you always cross bridges like that? Most of the time, yes. Now we can continue with the tour. Off to Trafalgar Square. Here we are. The last stop on our tour. Trafalgar Square. Look! Look! Puddles! There are lots of puddles in Trafalgar Square because it rained very recently. Can we jump in the puddles? I'll have to ask the Queen. Can we go and jump in the puddles, Your Majesty? Of course. Whenever it rains, I always go straight down to Trafalgar Square to jump in the puddles. Come and jump in the puddles with me. Don't worry, Pepper. The cruise ship is going to wait for us. What do you think? Are you ready to choose another trip? There. Now 
back again for another trip? We are in. This is New York, where you can see tall but Germany has some in Barcelona. Australia is very far away and very hot. You can go here to visit the Great Barrier Reef. London is our Italy. Are you sure you want to go here? Or would you like to great choice? It looks very nice. Right. All aboard, everyone. All aboard. All aboard. Australia. Let's pay a visit to the kangaroo family. Mr. Pig, what a surprise! Kylie, look who's come to visit! Hello, Peppa! Hello, George! Hello, Kylie! We were just passing by and thought we'd come and say hello. Ace, well, why don't we show you around some of our favourite places? Yes, yes! We could drive the minivan to the beach and visit the Great Barrier Reef. Or we could fly the plane to the outback for a very special picnic. There's so much to see in Australia. Which one would you like to do? Alrighty then, we'll take the plane to the outback for a picnic. All aboard! Everybody ready? Yes! yes. Then let's go! It's time to fly. You can go up and down or make the plane go faster. over it now. Oh, it looks like a desert. It kind of is, although the outback is also a special, magical place for us. Flying in an aeroplane on a sunny day, going to a picnic a long, long way away. Going to the outback on a sunny day. Flying to the outback a long, long way away. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to start preparing the barbecue for our lunch. Why don't you have a play in the outback? We can practice throwing my boomerang. Or we can play a spot of cricket. And keep your eyes peeled for koala bears. What would you like to do? This is my boomerang. It comes back when you throw it. Give it a go. Hold the boomerang for a moment, then throw it. The longer you hold it, the further it will go. Let's try playing cricket! Terrific! Let's play some cricket. Here, you take the bat and I'll throw the ball. 
Good luck. Lift up the bat, then swing it when you're ready to hit the ball. See the ball, Pepper. A teddy bear has got it. That's not a teddy bear. It's a koala bear. Hooray! We found one. Squeak! Radio, everyone. Lunch is ready. Corn on the cob. Mmm, what a yummy, scrummy picnic. When we have a picnic, Mrs. Duck always comes. Huh. There's no chance of Mrs. Duck showing up in the middle of the desert. <coughs> Mrs. Duckbill Platypus always shows up when we're having picnics. Corn on the cob for everyone. That was delicious. Mrs. Duckbill Platypus thinks so too. Okay, everyone. It's home time. Back on the plane. Home sweet home. What a fantastic trip to the outback. I love the outback. Um, what is it again? <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, into the minivan. We're going to see something amazing at the beach. Hooray! The beach is just up ahead. Drive the minivan to move forward. Incredible wildlife on the seabed, and it's my job to take care of it. When you're ready, hop inside the submarine and we'll explore the ocean. Hop in! The Great Barrier Reef. It's made up of coral that goes for miles and miles. It's up to me to keep it safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Peppa. We can look, but we mustn't touch. The submarine can move in any direction you want. Why don't you try driving it? If you find something interesting, you can pick it up with the grabbing claws. <laughs>
see if we can pick it up with the claws. But you said we shouldn't touch anything. We meant you mustn't touch anything that belongs here. But gold coins don't belong in the ocean. And we can use them to pay for lots more marine research. <laughs> We got the treasure! Hooray! Now, let's get it back to the minivan. Wow! I love going underwater in the submarine! And we learnt so much about the importance of keeping coral safe. I'm glad you all had fun. My, my. Is that the time? I'm afraid we need to carry on with our trip. Ah, oh, So soon? I'm afraid so. Lots to see. But thank you so much for showing us around. I had a brilliant time! Come back soon! Mummy, can we have a great berry reef in our garden? Oh, I don't think so, Peppa. We don't have our own submarine. <laughs> Good job. You've learned many things about Australia and found a lost treasure. It's been lots of fun. Don't worry, Pepper. The cruise ship is going to wait for us. What do you think? Are you ready to choose another trip? Again. This is New York, where you can see tall built Germany has some in Barcelona, Australia is London, is our Italy. This is Paris, where you can paint beautiful. Sure, you want to go here, or would you like to choose somewhere else? Great choice. It looks very nice. Italy. Here we are at our holiday house in Italy. Ciao, welcome to Italy. I am Uncle Goat, and this is my niece, Gabriella. Hello, Gabriella. Hello, Peppa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I need to go back to work at my cafe in the village piazza. Why don't you all come for lunch? Pizza in the piazza. Sounds delicious. <coughs> And you can stop by Auntie Goat's souvenir shop on the way. Oh, yes! There are so many wonderful things there. That sounds delightful. Fantastic. See you later, then. Mummy, can I call Granny and Grandpa later? I want to check that Goldie is okay. Of course, Peppa. You can use the phone inside the house. We can also go for a swim in the pool. Well, when you're ready to go to the village, let's go this way. Hello? Hello, Granny! Hello, Peppa. How is Italy? I love it! Did you know they make the best pizza in the world here. Oh, 
I love pizza. I'm eating some right now. <laughs> Talking of food, we've been feeding Goldie at least five times a day. Five times? Naughty Granny. That's too much. Is it? But it says here on your instructions to feed her five times a day. No, no! Oh, wait. Three times? Oh, silly me. I haven't got my glasses on. Two times a day. Yes! Whoops-a-daisy. Well, anyway, enjoy your holiday and see you soon. Bye-bye! Like in the brochure. Follow me, everyone. This way to the piazza. This is my auntie souvenir shop. You can get something here. Ciao, Gabriella. Who are your friends? This is Peppa, her family, and her friend. I'm showing them around the town. Oh, hello. Are you enjoying your time in Italy? Yes. yes. Yes! You must take a souvenir home with you to remember the holiday. Yes, you must! There's a lot to choose from. Just pick one, though. You can take a garden gnome or a ceramic plate, for example. Which one would you like? Walk up to the souvenir you want and take it. See Uncle Goat. He's over there. That's my uncle's cafe. We can get some delicious pizza for lunch. Yummy! And if you want to send a postcard, there's a post box too. Pizza base is ready. Now we need to add some toppings. I think we should put oregano, olives, tomato slices, and cheese. But the order is very important. Perhaps you could help me with that. Which ingredients should go first? Get in front of the topping you want and tell Uncle Goat to add it to the pizza. A little bit of oregano. A little bit of cheese. A handful of olives. Slices of tomato. Perfect. Now we need to put the pizza in the oven. Easy does it. We have to be careful so the pizza does not fall onto the floor. There we are. Now into the oven. You want to help me one more time? Uncle Goat needs your help to finish cooking the pizza. Put it in the oven, hold to watch it, and then release when you think it's ready. Here 
Here you are. You've finished the pizza. Yummy! Why don't you take it over to the table and have it for lunch? Okay. Okay. Buon appetito. Let's bring the pizza to the table where Mummy and Daddy are. Mmm. I've been looking forward to this pizza all day. Me too. Dig in, everyone. So, what do you think? Wow, it's the best pizza I've ever eaten. I couldn't have made it any better myself. Fantastico! I am so glad. Walk over to Auntie Goat's souvenir shop to get a postcard. Have a look. Look and see what I can find. Aha! There's one. This is a pretty one. Here you are. One postcard. Hooray! Why don't you take it to Mummy Pig and she can help you write it? Okay! Go and find Mummy Pig so she can help write the postcard for Granny and Grandpa Pig. on your postcard, Peppa. Get back to the cruise ship. So soon? Well, that is a shame. It's been so fun having you here. And I hope you enjoyed the pizza. Oh, we did. It was absolutely scrum diddly umptious. What's a scrum doodly dumptious? <laughs> I think they mean it was a very tasty. Well, of course. Italians make the best pizza in the whole world. All right, let's say our goodbyes and be on our way. Bye-bye. Ciao, Peppa. Bye-bye. Goodbye, everyone. Or 
as we say in Italy, Arrivederci. Arriva Dolce. Wait, no, no. Arriva Dici. No, that's not right. Let's just stick with goodbye. <laughs> well done. Thanks for your help. Enjoy the delicious Italian pizza. Now that it's time to go home, why don't you check on Pepper's Goldfish?